When you're planning to start your call center or BPO business, what is the first step that you should be taking? Let's discuss in this video. So the first thing that I always suggest is that instead of business operations, you must be focusing on client acquisition. So business operation, that means selecting the place, licensing, training and development, hiring employees, everything comes under business operations. But the first thing that you should be focusing on is client acquisition. So when you're getting into international client acquisition, the very first step that you should be taking is creating a really great corporate website for your business. I always say that your website is the face of your company because the clients are not going to come. They're not going to take the next flight and come and see your business. The first thing that they're going to see is your corporate website. What services you offer? What is your USP? Uh, what exactly, which, which industries do you focus on? What is your value proposition? So everything they're going to see and the best, the best platform for it is going to be the website. So make sure you have really great impressive website. So how you do or how you create the website, either you hire someone or outsource this work of creating website, but which are the most important points that you should be considering while creating the website for your call center business. There are a couple of points that I have mentioned. Uh, let's discuss that one by one. So the very first point is impressive content and images. So you need to make sure that the content is very impressive. The images which you have, which you are using are not randomly downloaded from Google. They should be copyright free, high quality, high definition images. You can use it from some of the websites like Shutterstock and you can use those images. And when you're using content, you need to make sure that it is a unique content you have actually written or get it done it from the content writers and make sure that it is adding value to your audience. People should feel interested while reading that content. The second tip that I give is embedded videos. So you need to make sure that there are a lot of videos that you have published on YouTube and several other platforms. And those YouTube videos should be embedded on your website because many times people don't like to read. So, you know, the audience attention span on the website is less than two minutes. But if you want to keep that audience, if, they, if you want to keep them engaged uh, on your website, then you need to make sure that you have some value added videos published on YouTube and you are giving them the backlinks on your website so people can watch those videos. The third thing that you can consider while creating your website is giving a list of your services with all the information. So when people want to take services, they can select or they can get information which all services you provide. So make sure that you are listing them along with the images or some examples or any videos that you have about your services and then publish it. So you can even have a separate page for your services. The fourth point is about industries. So which all industries do you cater to? Give some examples if you have any existing clients and give some examples of the client, which all industries that you cater to. It could be if you're from call center industry, then it could be a solar industry, finance industry, e-commerce, retail, manufacturing, travel and tourism. There are multi many industries that, uh, you know, they are there when it comes to the call center industries, when it comes to call center industry services. So make sure that you are giving all the information about the industries and help those clients. The next point is about USB. USB is unique selling point. So make sure you define USBs of your business, how you exactly stand out in your competition and make sure you update that on your website. So when people, they come to your website, they should exactly or clearly come to know that why they should choose your business uh, in your competition. So make sure your USB is clearly defined. The next point is about industry blogs. Yes, they are extremely important. It's not only about the website, but the blogs actually help you to bring a lot of traffic to your website. So make sure that there should be at least one blog post published every single week. So don't ignore them. You know, to exactly search some of the queries from your industries, you can search those queries typed by people on some of the websites like Quora. So people type a lot of questions there that, you know, how call centers can benefit my business. Uh, what is the pricing for a call center? What are the services offered by call centers? There are a lot of questions which are actually shared on Quora and you can use those as your topics for the blogs and write those blogs or get it written by someone from professionals and publish it on your website. That will be really helpful. The seventh point is about SEO optimization through keywords. So all the information which you are updating, whether it's on the blog or it's on the website, 
those should be SEO optimized. So the keywords needs to be studied well. If you are studying it on Google, then that you know you can use various tools like Keyword Anywhere, or you can you know actually uh, also use another tool called TubeBuddy. So you will actually get which are the keywords used by your audience for how many times and how much is the competition. So will you get ranking for those keywords or not? And then use those keywords in your information in your website. So it should be SEO optimized keywords. The eighth point is about mobile responsive website. There are a lot of people who actually go through the websites from their mobile phones or from iPads instead of laptops and computers. So you need to make sure your website should be mobile responsive. When I say mobile responsive, that means your website should look presentable uh, regardless of the devices that your audience is reading it from. So it could be any device, but it should look impressive. So that's the eighth point. The ninth point is about social media links. So you need to make sure that you have created the social media pages on LinkedIn, Facebook, YouTube and Twitter, and you're giving them the actual links. So if people really want to follow you there, about your blog posts or your upcoming videos, then it should be easy for them to go through your social media links. So give them social media links. The 10th important thing is about Facebook chat support. It's extremely important thing because when you give them this chat window, how may I help you? And that's especially from the Facebook, it actually helps you to run some paid content or paid video promotion for that particular audience who visits your website. So you can actually track that particular audience who has visited your website when they are chatting with you on uh, on Facebook Messenger. And then you can run the promotional advertisements for those people for another month or two months. So even after visiting the website and they're not reading any blog posts or they're not coming to your website again, but they will still keep seeing the videos or promotional videos, even if they're on other platforms or if they're reading any news or articles or any other websites. But through Facebook, you can actually run paid promotional advertisements for people who have visited your website and who have interacted in the past. The next important point is contact us page and lead capture. This is another important point because when people, they fill the lead capture form or when they leave email addresses, you can sync your website data along with your CRM and then set up email automation. So that's going to help you to target those clients or audience by sending automated emails of your services and information. So make sure you have a really good contact us page and lead capture form. The last point is about Google Analytics. Make sure that you are using Google Analytics and you're linking it your, with your website. So you can actually track all the analytics of your audience on Google Analytics, like how many people are visiting your website every month. Where is the traffic coming from? Who are the exact audiences? What is their liking? What is the history? When they come to your website, which, which are the most important pages they are visiting? Or what information they are reading? Is it going to be the services page? So this will give you a lot of insights from Google Analytics. So make sure you are using Google Analytics along with your website. So these were the 12 most important points when it comes to the corporate website for contact center business or call center business. If you have any questions, make sure you WhatsApp me on plus 919511 or visit my website is www.offshoringconsultant.com.